The Night Twin City Mission hosted its annual longest night of the year event. It is a memorial service observed nationally to recognize and honor the homeless who've passed over the last year. Heather Kovar takes us to that ceremony. Robert Lee Walker. Names read in remembrance of those deceased in 2022. Pat Mullins. Prayers and song, along with lighting of candles. It's all a part of the longest night of the year homeless memorial at the Twin City Mission in Bryan, held on this first day of winter. It's not only is it the shortest day, the winter solstice, but that also equates to the longest night. And from dusk until dawn, that marks the single longest period of time throughout the year that homeless individuals and families are having to deal with the elements. Ron Crozier is Director of Community Relations Development at Twin City Mission. It's a way of remembering those people as people, not statistics. They weren't just numbers that came in and out of your programs. They were actual people. It's, it's a, a, a needed thing, and this place means the world to me. Daniel McKinnon is a former client of Twin City Mission in the shelter for 50 weeks and able to leave and make it on his own in August of 2021. It's a dynamite place. It keeps, keeps you dry on rainy nights. Nationally, homeless is reportedly up 12 percent and the highest it's been since the country started using its current counting system in 2007. We haven't seen an increase in the number of people that we provide services to. Uh, what we have seen is that people are more willing to come in and get some short-term care, short-term assistance, and then move on. He says at one point there were 1,000 homeless across seven counties. Next month they do a new number count, which helps with getting resources. And Brian Heather Kovar, News 3. 20 names were read tonight, which is more than in years past. Almost 100 people attended tonight's memorial.